I wanted to go to Mount Washington to do one of the ice gullies, but go to the top of the mountain. And she said, sure, you know, glad to do that. They didn't have a map and compass, and they were using the wind. They realized they were lost. You fell through the ice and was soaked from the waist down. Lying in the hospital with my limbs amputated, I mean, my future was just a black hole. This is a gentleman who really has reinvented bionics. Professor Hugh Herr from MIT. Here you can see my legs, 24 sensors, six microprocessors, and muscle tendon-like actuators. I'm basically a bunch of nuts and bolts from the knee down. I'm a bionic man, but I'm not yet a cyborg. For hundreds, thousands of years, amputation has been viewed as a procedure that's done when there are no other options. Fundamentally, the surgery hasn't changed since really the Civil War era. We're on our way to Boston to say goodbye to my left foot. And how are you feeling emotionally? I am absolutely terrified. <laughs> We hope that we'll be able to demonstrate the first real time that a robotic limb has been integrated with a patient's sense of self via proprioceptive sensation. Proprioception is our ability to sense the world around us. It's the way that we know our joints move in space, how fast they're moving, how hard they're pushing, how stiff they are. If we are able to come up with a better way of doing amputation, that fully augments a person's ability to achieve increased levels of function. That is a much different package. It's really cool to feel it through my knee. Literally within minutes of having it all connected, it starts becoming part of me. So those spinal level circuits are still active. He feels enough feedback to the spinal cord that everything triggers naturally. I believe the individual will be able to design their own physicality, design their own cognition and emotional experience, will be able to sculpt their own identity. Society is obsessed with this idea of a normal human, a normal body, a normal mind. But we're so convinced that normalcy is the pinnacle of capability. That's now collapsing, it's breaking down. I think in 20 years, limb amputation will not be a disability, and there'll be several dimensions that are actual augmentation.